Hey there, everyone. I want to tell you a story about how I wasted at least half an hour of my day today because I didn't understand the proper operation of a vehicle. Um, guys, this information is in the owner's manual. I'm going to show you that at the end here. And also, it's in service information. Uh, not, not so much really clearly written, but enough information to give you enough guidance to kind of figure out what's going on. Let me show you. What's up everybody, Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. I want to share with you something I learned about this 2016 Ford F-150. I was going ahead and doing some key programming on it. We had uh, two new keys to program. Just so you know, the key programming pocket location is up underneath here. You pull up the little uh, floor of this tray and uh, lay the key in there to get it programmed. So we got our keys programmed. Uh, remotes do work with both keys, no problem. So I want to show you something. As you see right now, I've got the windows down, and I went ahead and hit the lock button. So I locked the vehicle, and I just wait a little while here, and uh, just so you know, this is kind of what I did. I still had the hood open on the vehicle. I hit the lock button, lock, unlock. I made sure my remote start worked, all that good stuff. Everything was good. And I think I went to take my maintainer off, or no, I was walking up to the front of the vehicle to close the hood. I was kind of like just walking by like this, and I walked by, and sometimes it'll do, oh, there it goes right there. We've got this alarm going off. Well, let me tell you what's going on. If you take a look at the scan tool data, you can go into your, uh, this is using a 608 here, diagnostics. If you go into the control unit, we're gonna choose the body control module. BCM, where are you? Body control module. And under the live data, we're gonna see what tripped this alarm. That's what we're looking at. So give it a second. We're gonna to go to live data. And taking a look over here, once this pops up, uh, we can take a look at the data list and we're looking for what trip the alarm the last time. They'll show you the second last time, third last time, fourth last time. They show you all the uh, tripped alarm events. So we're gonna take a look at what happened here uh, after this loads up. And they don't show us, I don't think they show us the most recent uh, uh, triggered event. Maybe they do if I look hard enough. Let me see here. I'm just going to scroll through. LMNOP if it's in uh, most recent triggered event is interior motion detected. And you can take a look up here. All the last triggered events are interior motion detected. Well, I'm here to tell you what's going on is with this thing locked, walking past here. Let me hit the lock button one more time and I'm just gonna to walk to the other side of the vehicle, the interior motion sensor is actually picking up through the window, through the open window here, motion. So as I go like this, back and forth, you're gonna see one of these times it will trip. I don't know when it will. We'll give it a second, but this uh, just kind of baffled me. I was kind of scratching my head thinking, what's going on? There you go. I didn't go inside the vehicle, but I just got close enough. So if I unlock this, let's roll up the windows and I'll show you that it, the problem goes away. So let me go ahead and turn the key on. Where's my push button here? Key on, roll up these windows here, left and right, get them up. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key off. And hit the lock button, there we go. And we're gonna see if this happens again. Um, in my experience, uh, experiment previously, it did not happen again, and I think that was all that was going on. So just sharing with you guys, because I was scratching my head for a second thinking, oh, are these uh, keys no good? They're supposed to be from the dealer. Uh, did I improperly program something with a 608? Trying to figure out what I've done here. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk past this both ways like I did before. We can be right up against the window. Nothing happening here, right? We're all good. I'll go ahead and do it on this side as well. As you saw before, if I just walked up like this, it would mess up. So we're in good shape, guys. How about that? I guess you could say you learn something new every day, don't you? All right, guys, you see, I kind of feel silly because I couldn't figure out why that alarm was going off. I didn't realize it was because the windows were down and the interior uh, motion sensor was picking up motion outside the vehicle. So I want to go ahead and show you that information in service information and the owner's manual in just a second. Uh, but I want to let you guys know, if you want to buy a multimeter, uh, this is a decent multimeter, same one you see behind me over there, the Astro 6000. I have a link for in the description below uh, to Amazon where you can pick this up. It's a pretty darn good meter. 
meter for the price. It's not a bad meter by any means. I've had two out of about 45 of these ship with a bad battery. And the next complaint that I have with this meter is the leads. I mean, the leads are less expensive leads. So you might want to replace those with some high quality unit from AES Wave. The link's in the description as well. So let's take a look at the service information. So in the Ford owner's manual, this is actually, if you go to motorcraftservice.com, you can find some information uh, about the security anti-theft alarm. And look in here, I want you to see that you have reduced guard mode if equipped, and you also have full guard mode if equipped. The full guard mode, if it's enabled, it will detect movement inside your vehicle. So there is a way through the driver information center settings to disable this. If, say if you were going to have a dog in a car with the windows down or whatever for a little bit of time and you want to have your car locked and armed, you can do that and it won't detect the motion inside the vehicle. Now taking a look a little bit deeper into how this works, this is on all data. Um, I am in all data right here. You can see here that, uh, let me blow this up so you guys can see. It. You can see here that uh, we do have a bunch of different uh, component descriptions here and the intrusion sensor is what uh, actually detects movement inside the vehicle. Very interesting. I didn't think it would detect outside the vehicle. I think it only detect inside, but with those windows down, it would sense motion outside of vehicles. Totally blew my mind. I was not expecting that. The other thing that I learned right here is that if you do replace this intrusion sensor, there is a LIN new module installation procedure that must be carried out using a scan tool in the body control module. So that being said, the story of the day is make sure you take your time to understand your service information, read up. If you start seeing weird things, you're probably missing something. At least that's the case how it goes with me. If you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, give me a notification bell ring, all that good stuff. I appreciate everybody's support. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.